All right, so Grunge isn't terrible, but it can use some work. So hi everyone, it's Julia and in today's video we're going to be talking about Grownish and why I just don't think this is a very good show. It's not terrible, it could, but it could use some work. It could use some Debbie Allen, you know, spice. So <laughs> let's get into it. So Grownish is a spinoff of the hit show Blackish on NBC and was created by Kenya Barris. This show follows Zoe Johnson, one of the four kids from the Johnson family, and her journey as a young college student at the fictional university Cal U in LA. She has an assortment of friends, all with their own storylines mostly. So we're gonna get into it. Basically, I'm gonna just be doing a rough like run through of each character and what I think of them, and then just my basic problems with the show in general. So I also wanna preface this by saying that I am not, um, I'm not, very well versed on the Blackish universe. I've not really watched Blackish. I've watched a few episodes, but I don't really know much about Blackish. So maybe my opinion is skewed, but it's just how I feel. So Zoe Johnson is basically the protagonist of the show. She's the daughter of Andre and Bo Johnson. And I guess we'll say main character. So my first gripe with Zoe automatically is the fact that she just seems very selfish and into for herself. I mean, from the start of the show, I remember being shocked when she was at this party and she literally left Anna when she was throwing up and literally was like, oh, I don't want anyone to know that you're associated with me as if a lot of kids don't throw up on college campuses as if that's, isn't that a thing that a lot of kids do? I mean, people did it at my school so it's not like anyone's gonna look at you crazy for helping a drunk friend but okay another big thing with zoe is i just feel like they don't give her character enough character development i just feel like she goes through things and then she doesn't learn from them it's like they have her take five steps forward and then she takes seven steps back It's like every single situation she doesn't really learn from, especially with Aaron and all the games she was playing with Aaron. Granted, Aaron wasn't really the best guy either, but with that and then also with the whole job thing and how she kind of just got this Joey badass thing just thrown into her lap. I mean, I, I just feel like she just doesn't really learn and she doesn't really grow and change. And I don't really understand her character and why she's the way she is. A lot of people compare Zoe to Denise Huxtable from a different world and how they took Denise out of the first season of a different world and then once they took her out a different world became amazing and so people say they should just take Zoe's character out and end up being amazing but I like Yara Shahidi as a person I think she's a really cool person and she's in college herself and so that's another thing too I mean I don't think she's on campus or anything but I just don't get why her character is just so insufferable and then also I think the delivery again I really like Yara and I think she's talented but I don't get what Zoe's personality is is she supposed to just be like a really dry character because her delivery on everything is so flat and uninterested is that because she's spoiled and only cares about herself or is that how her character really is supposed to be like I don't really understand Zoe's delivery or how Yara portrays her character so I don't really understand what Zoe's core personality is it's like she's boy crazy she's doing this fashion stuff but that's about it it's like where's the depth you know i will say however i feel like zoe's character was slightly redeemable in season three because she was doing a lot more for her friends she was supportive of nomi in her pregnancy she was supportive with luca with the job hookup and then aaron with her his protest and making the jumpsuits and all that so i do say zoe has some redeeming qualities but she still is like my least favorite character or one of my least favorite So next we're going to get into Aaron, and I don't have much to say about Aaron. I like how he puts Zoe in her place every here and there, but I think he's just a confused boy that doesn't know what he wants. He hooks up with Anna, then she's the complete anti antithesis to him, and she cheats on Rochelle with Zoe. I, I mean, I think the only thing he did right was the whole divesting from the prison system, pressuring Cal Yu to divest. I think that's like the biggest and most noble thing his character has done throughout the series. But other than that, I feel like his character is kind of a throwaway character. Although I love Trevor Jackson. I think his acting is great. I think Trevor's acting is great. But I just think his character is just too much. Like his character just kind of annoys me. So there's that. 
So next we're gonna go into the Forster twins, Jazz and Sky, played by Chloe and Hallie. So I did not like Chloe's character in season one because I thought she was really mean. I thought they gave her the stereotypical mean black girl trope as well as Sky. And when she spit in Zoe's drink, I was done with her. I was like, at that point, you are not gonna be my friend. And that kind of made me upset was why was Zoe such a pushover? I was so upset. I'm like, if anybody ever spat in my drink, I don't think I'd ever do anything for someone to spit in my drink, but if anyone ever spat in my drink, I'm cutting you off so hard and you better stay far, far, far away. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything to you, but I don't want to be around you. I don't need, I don't need your energy. Get out, get out of my space. Literally get out. That's exactly how I would feel. So I was just like, what? <laughs> so I don't like that. And then the whole relationship thing with Doug is a whole mess because I thought their relationship was actually sweet or just looks stable. That's something I really liked about her part of her character but i just don't like how they kind of just made her character and sky so mean and it's just getting to be dramatic it's like stop okay do you have any soft bone in your body at all i will say though their characters have really improved a lot over the seasons and i kind of mentioned this when i talk about sky but yeah i feel like they definitely have made their characters more vulnerable more open like when Jazz found out that she wasn't getting into the Olympic trials and she was kind of bitter about it for a bit, but she wasn't really expressing herself. And then her and Sky ended up crying over it. Um, you know, I like that. I want that more so. And I think this whole Jazz and Doug debacle has made Jazz more emotional and not as like, not as sassy. I mean, again, great actors, Chloe and Hallie, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the sass. Like, it just, because I'm just like, who is actually going to be your friend when you act like that? Like, I'm shocked that they're all still friends. I don't like how she's constantly throwing jabs at everybody in the group. I mean, honestly, if this was in real life, she probably would have gotten completely beat up by now. Like, let's just be real. People would have tore her down by now because why? You know, like, why are you constantly throwing jabs, especially Vivek? We're going to get into him, but that's my other issue is that they kind of just give these characters like such like black and white personalities with no nuance and they just run with these personalities. I will say that I think they gave Jazz a bit more of a well-rounded, I guess, character in season three. I feel like she was a bit softer, but ultimately I think Sky and Jazz just, I think they're good actors. I think Chloe and Hallie are good actors and, you know, they got the whole scholarship thing, the running thing, and then uh, Chloe's character was too into her relationship so she didn't take track seriously she kept being relationship you know obsessed and didn't care about her track career and so i think that in some sense they give them depth but not that much so next we're gonna get into nomi again i don't have much to say about nomi either i think they kind of threw away her character a bit she's not really in a lot of scenes anymore i thought the professor storyline was totally whack um the baby storyline seems to be interesting since she hasn't told her ex that that is her baby or that that's his baby so i think that'll be very interesting moving forward in the show but i hope i don't seem too over it right now but these characters are just it's just it's just too much so um, we're gonna get into the next character doug so i thought doug was really cool in the beginning but the relationship debacle with jazz and then the fact that he was mad that jazz stepped out on him even though he was the one that proposed that they do that because they were on a break i mean no nah, i don't i'm not saying i condone all that but you are the one that brought it up sir so why are you mad that she decided to take you up on your offer and yeah so their relationship i don't understand why the writers decided to completely mull around their relationship and mess up their relationship i i don't get it because it seemed to be the only stable one of the show and <laughs> yeah so they were messing with their relationship a lot so like i said with doug i don't really have much to say about him i don't like how he's always coming for vivek either yeah All right, so Vivek, um, my man deserves more screen time. I think Vivek, it needs more screen time. He needs more depth to his character. The whole thing with the drugs and his girlfriend, I think that'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. I'm surprised he never decided to tell her. He was always too nervous to tell her. Again, I think Aaron and Doug come for him too often. So that's my issue with that. But I think, <laughs> I think Vivek needs more screen time. I think we need more dimension to him. And yeah, I would like to see where they go with his character. Luca what is there to say he just he's not even he doesn't even seem to be a part of the main clique of, of people he doesn't really have a connection he kind of just does whatever and he's kind of on the outs in terms of like how he's with the, the group he's not really 
friends with anybody except know me and it's just weird he's just, he's just kind of there Same with Jillian, and I'm so I'm so upset because I really I admire Ryan Destiny. I think she carries herself very well. I think she's a really she seems like a very sweet girl. I don't know her, but she seems sweet. And they've given like no depth to her character. She was on for a couple scenes. She was Luca's love interest, and that's it. I mean, they they decided to bring a beautiful, wonderful, great actress, talented girl, but not really utilize her. And now she, they decided to take her to Tokyo with Sky because Ryan is actually filming a movie. So she's not going to be able to film in season four. But again, that really upsets me that they did like nothing with her character. So I kind of feel like they just used Ryan Destiny's character as a throwaway character because she has so much talent acting, singing, dancing. But it feels like they just kind of put her in there because they were tired of people complaining about the lack of representation because people were saying that there's not enough dark skin or brown skin girls. And this is like a PWI. This is a college like you're going to see those people. And I just feel like they just used her character as a plot device for Zoe because she slept with Luca and then that was like a whole thing and then her and Luca's relationship wasn't even that interesting so I don't know what they were trying to do with her but it, they should have gave her more screen time. So I'm gonna need them to step that up when she comes back. So yeah. I oh yeah I, didn't, I realized I didn't talk about Rochelle. Um, I really don't have much of an opinion on Rochelle other than the fact that I think how she handled the whole thing with Aaron and Zoe was a bit weird, but she realized her error. Um, and I just feel bad for the poor girl. I really do. So I realized I didn't talk about Anna. Um, I kind of feel like her character is weird. Like, they made her like a Republican, like real conservative girl. And then the whole thing with Javi. And then her going through his phone. And I don't even know, like... A lot of these characters just revolve around the relationships. Like, what is her character? What? Like, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Side note, I have no problem with Anna's conservatism. I do like how they kind of make her, like, the voice of reason in some sense. She's always the one kind of trying to, you know, take care of Zoe. She kind of is like a sisterly, like, older sister, motherly figure almost to them, which is cool, but... I just feel like they make her character so inconsistent. It just doesn't make sense. General problems with Grownish. But this show is pretty unrelatable. They're dressed nice every single day, their hair done all the time. And some people argue that Zoe's hairstyles, for example, aren't that hard. But I, I let me be honest with you. Back when I was in college, I needed a style. I had my hair in braids and crochet, braids, twists. Um, a lot because I didn't feel like dealing with my hair every day and so I needed something that was quick I needed something I could throw up and just go out the door with and Zoe's hairstyles are not just throw up and get out the door Zoe's hairstyles are like I'm gonna get up like 40 minutes before I have to to do this style you know that's how her um, looks look to me that was my thing with Zoe's character I didn't really like how or just with all their characters just how they always look so beautiful and prim and proper and they're in these lavish apartments, which you can't really afford on a college student's salary. Um, they hardly ever study too. Like you never see them studying. You never see them ta even talking about school. They don't talk about like, oh, I have this paper due. Oh, I have this exam. Oh, I'm, I'm getting, like Aaron was talking about, oh, I'm getting ready to graduate X, Y, Z, but they don't talk about the pressure and stress of school. It's all relationship, relationship, relationship. And I think that's my biggest gripe with Gronish. It's all about relationships. It's all about who's dating who, who's doing this with who, who did this with who. Like, it's all about relationships. And I'm just like, there's so much more depth to college students than just their relationships. There's so many other problems. I mean, like, again, like, you don't talk about these people struggling to buy their books. So I really like the episode where they focused on Sky and Jazz having to sell their track gear. I feel like that's very realistic where it's like in college, you're going to sometimes do a little bit of a side hustle to make extra money. But again, they'll touch on this and then they run away from it. They touch on this and then they run away from it. Same thing when Zoe had a job at a bookstore. Like they literally had her learn a lesson for like two seconds and they ran away from that. But then they'll focus on Zoe and Aaron's stupid love shebang for like three whole seasons, drag that out, make these characters all about their relationships and nothing about the real struggle of college or the kind of 
issues that real college students go through and the interactions aren't even genuine but we're gonna get more like, into that just like other problem maybe problems with the professor i mean maybe the problems with the food like they don't even talk about just things that regular college students have issues with it's all about relationships and this is why I say like, I think they need to make one of the characters on this show single. I really think that they need to make one of these characters single. I'm tired of them having these characters always in relationship trouble and drama and problems. It's like it revolves around them. They're not really depicting the true lifestyle of a college student. And it's interesting because I remember they did like a homage to a different world a couple of years ago for their theme song. And I'm just like, are y'all trying to be another different world? Are you trying to be a modern different world? Because that's not what y'all are. Again, I think another thing that I noticed is that they tried to make this show kind of like an HBCU style show when it wasn't. And that was never the thing. Like Cal U is a P PWI. And I feel like they tried to make it HBCU-esque. And I, I just don't. I just don't get it. They should have just made it an HBCU if that's what they wanted. Yeah, I just find Grownish really unrelatable. I think the writing is pretty spotty too. And I don't think they give a lot of screen time to a lot of the characters. I mean, a lot of characters get shafted like Jillian, like Vivek. They don't give these characters screen time and a lot of depth and a lot of growth. And I don't feel like they really go through true maturation that you tend to go through in college. Because when I think back to when I was a freshman to when I graduated, I mean, the amount of growth I'd experienced in those four years was like literally mind blowing to me. And when I look at my old Snapchats, I see <laughs> how much I've grown. And when I look at these guys, I'm just like, I feel like Zoe has not really changed since the first season. Like she's about to be in her senior year and I feel like Zoe has not changed. And now she's thinking about coming back to Cal U. So she was in Cal U, failed this class, changed her major. Then she left, got a job. Now she now she's coming back it's like too much back and forth i mean man i don't think i could go through that much back and forth without my my parents my dad literally coming to like destroy me so it just doesn't really make sense again i think this show is not really relatable to the real college experience that's basically my thoughts on this show yeah i hope that they give ryan more screen time in the future seasons i hope they give more depth to these characters and more direction and that it feels more relatable because so far i don't even know what kind of students all these kids are like they don't even talk about what kind of students they are are they studious are they lazy are they this are they that like for all i know they all look like they party all day so yes that's my opinion on grownish um feel free to disagree in the comments and let me know what you think of the show let me know what you think needs to be fixed about the show i'll talk to you guys soon peace